Hey everybody, Luther here. Welcome back to more Golden Sun Lost Stage. I, uh, think I'm gonna be taking a break from La Mulana for now. There's just stuff going on that I need to... I'm busy, essentially. Uh, in any case... Where was I? I was at the Gabomba statue. Here I go forgetting my controls, thinking this is a Super Nintendo game for some reason. Um, we were in the process of doing this thing. We have our Kibamba here. And these guys. These guys are getting in the way, aren't they? Only a few minutes into recording, and I've already run out of things to say. <laughs> right, but seriously, this next part is what I really like about this dungeon. Focus your energies. Everyone, look over here. Hello there, guy. <laughs> Saw a good amount of that in the first game. Why would he accept a stolen gift? That is my question. And when his eyes open, we get a mechanical thing. Yes, the great god of the Kibambo tribe cannot accept his offering due to a technical difficulty. <laughs> Does this show you how silly this game can be sometimes? This makes me wonder who went in and uh, messed up the puzzle anyway. Well, if we reconnect it, it'll supposedly take the jewel in here, right? right now is a boss fight. You charge one of the blocks and yeah, yeah, energy conduits, whatever. You know Camelot, you could have just let the players figure it out on their own. DANG IT! Ugh! Only right back. <sighs> okay, I am back. A phone call. <laughs> um... Anyway, yeah. It's like, why couldn't Camelot just let the players solve the puzzle on their own? It's really not that hard. <coughs> Alright, so what we gotta do is we gotta pound this thing into the ground. And then we gotta work out a path for the uh, energy conduit to take. This one is pretty simple, so you can, since you can just do this. We know that this one automatically blocks the signal, so we can't do anything about that one. I want this one to go this way. And we want this one to go this way. This one should go this way if we want it to lead anywhere. I guess we can pound this one in here since it's kind of irrelevant at this point. Just push this in. 
maybe it's not that hard at all. <coughs> now we just wait. Still recording. Um, can't tell. Alright, be right back. Okay, yes, I was streaming. Er, not streaming exactly, but recording. <coughs> I'm using the open broadcasting soft open broadcaster software to do this as opposed to Cam Studio because Cam Studio is admittedly kind of stupid. In any case, I can actually do a thing. Yeah, see, the signal gets blocked in two places, just as a matter of principle, so... Drama! And then he just kind of does the silliest thing ever. The Great Kabamba is a Yoshi, apparently! <laughs> goes into the statue. Black door. Where is it? Something roll in there. Came through there and rolled along this grievance before. Vanished into that hole. Looks pretty deep. Can you see it? Do you think you reach it? No, I can't even see it. Nope. <laughs> 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 you are awesome, Jenna. Kind of depends. He doesn't seem like a bad person at any rate. Maybe. like the dialogue in this game, but some of the choices of word is, are just... what? Hey, 
on a sec, guys. Ah! Okay. Hopefully, I should be able to just do a thing now. <coughs> Yeah, you hear that, Mr. Witch Doctor Guy? Stop thinking only about yourself, dude. <laughs> Graydon. You are a very greedy old man. Wait, why was it bouncing up and down? I'm pretty sure it didn't do that in the original game. What? That was weird. Well, he's obviously their god, but I have no idea. Nah, I don't care. <laughs> Must have been pretty late at night, huh? Whoa, why is your face purple? Uh, I guess it's just the paint. <laughs> We finally have the black orb. Hey there, Mr. Healer guy. Uh, I'm kind of worried about that, to tell you the truth. <laughs> uh, let's go check it out. <clears throat> it's gotta be an interesting thing or two, you know? Down the esophagus of the great statue. Oh, hello. It's a mini dungeon. With the vortex on the ground for some reason. We do not have any synergy that can handle this kind of vortex, so I will just leave it. I said I will just leave it! Will you guys leave me alone? Uh, die! You must die, all of you! Uh. Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I am the king of mood whiplash. <laughs> but that's why y'all love me, right? Assuming you act like I haven't, you know, completely lost interest because my upload schedule sucks. <coughs> <laughs> but in any case, let's go out and do I wonder if there's kind of equipment I can get that is better than. Well, okay. But, I think I will wait until Fear can get his own. Okay, uh, let's get some armor instead. Chainmail! I like that. It already has that. Yeah, that's cool. 
now. Silk clothes. Already equipped. Iron shield. Ah, okay. Let's see. Question why are the gauntlets worth more defensively than the iron shield? That is very strange. No. Oh. Yeah, you know, it's just kind of brief equipping shenanigans and stuff. Seeing Felix wearing that filling crown unsettles me a little bit. Here I go thinking this is a Super Nintendo game again. I am an idiot. Um, yes, I do want to stay at the inn. <laughs> My throat is all kind of crazy town. Steak! Steak! Stank! <laughs> uh, anyway. Uh, so now we're done with that, it would probably be a... Who are the ones? Juggle! Not bad. Uh, in a... Here I go thinking this is a Super Nintendo game again. I need to stop being so stupid. Um. You know what we need to do? Uh, we need to stop recording and save the trip back to Madra for another episode. That's what we need to do, so see y'all later.